Hey guys, this is V-Chef here. I'm going to show you how to make the Mercury public event a heroic on the Curse of Osiris DLC. All right, now we're just waiting for the public event to start. We have about five seconds left. Uh, it's a little bit hard if you're doing it by yourself. I recommend a fire team, especially since this is just a big space for a public event. All right, so it's starting. Uh, if you've done this public event, you know you want to kill the enemies on either side, left and right, until it spawns a the little mini boss. Uh, watch out on the top. There's going to be two snipers out up here. I've seen many people die by those two snipers. All right, I got lucky enough that it was uh, this boss. It does change from... Uh, this guy, the Hydra, and the Minotaur. You want the two orbs drop, you want to dunk them into these two platforms right here. The other, my random is doing that one. And then I have two other randoms doing the same thing on the other side. So nothing changes on that part. <laughs> I think they're having a little trouble on that side. I do believe whichever side dunks last is the side uh, you shoot onto the next side with. So it does happen on that side, so I go over there. Alright, this, this, this is the part where you guys want to be careful, because this is, will trigger the heroic event. Alright, while my uh, randoms, teammates rather, are taking care of the boss, you want to go behind the portal. As soon as it drops, you want to look over. As soon as they slam, there should be a crystal that spawns right in the air. Only two people need to go. I had three people. See, there's the other crystal. You want to keep shooting these crystals. When you shoot them, they will spawn pillars so you guys can jump. Essentially, you're going to be making your way to the top. And while you guys are doing that, uh, the other person is taking care of the other boss, little mini, little mini boss, on the other side of the map. So it does spawn the final platform. We've killed all the crystals. And then all you need to do is stand on the platform. Wait for it. And you see, we have accomplished our goal. We have made it a heroic. So we only have one of two. So we're going to go help out our uh, friend over here. Because defeating these guys by yourself can be a bit of a hassle. Alright, now that's done, we go to the middle and we have the boss. Now because it's a heroic, the boss mechanics have changed. So instead of defeating them all the way, you'll see in just a little bit, we're going to be doing a little bit of damage. And then, yep, there's a shield. He will have now have a shield. Now on the left and right, yep, there's the same little two mini bosses. You want to defeat them. And same concept, uh, two orbs shall appear. You'll use this to spring yourself up. And that pillar right above the boss will take his shield down. And not only that, if you look at his health, since he's right underneath it, it does a considerable amount of damage to him as well. 
and again it's on the left and right sides just like before so now we're going to be on the other side wait for that little mini boss I'm sorry I'm calling it a mini boss guys uh, my eyesight's not the greatest and we're going to rinse and repeat so that's just two slams and his, look how low he is and now he's not going to have any more shield and then you just take it and take him down and there he goes heroic event complete you still get two chests um, I haven't seen a difference in the rewards yet but that's it thanks for watching guys and stay tuned